A new version of iOS means a fresh new look, handy new settings, and a boatload of features that have good intentions, but really just suck up your phone's battery life. So if you noticed your phone is draining faster since updating to iOS 7, or you want to know how to get more juice out of it, here are some tips. Background app refreshing is a feature that lets background apps stay active while you multitask. The problem is that by default, all your apps are enabled to refresh in the background, which is a huge battery hog. Head on over to Settings, General, then Background App Refresh. Here, you can disable the feature entirely, or you can disable just the ones you don't absolutely want to refresh. iOS 7's automatic updates aren't generally a problem, but the last thing you want is 15 apps to start updating when your battery is at 20%. So, turn that feature off. Just go to the iTunes and App Store settings and disable this Updates option. Now you can update your apps whenever it's best for you. One of the biggest battery drains is always location tracking. Usually that applies to using mapping apps, but hidden in your settings menu are a whole bunch of new settings that sneakily track your location. Under Privacy, go to Location Services. Then scroll all the way down and choose System Services. Some of these settings are designed to improve your experience. For instance, Popular Near Me tracks your location to give you app recommendations based on where you are. Go ahead and disable any features you don't absolutely need, including this frequent location setting at the bottom. Spotlight is super useful because it lets you search for almost anything on your phone. And the way it works is by constantly crawling your phone for new data and indexing it. That's a huge battery drain. Back in Settings, go to General, Spotlight Search, and uncheck the items you don't absolutely need indexed. With that and all the other adjustments, you should see a nice boost in your battery life. If you have any questions or tips of your own, hit me up on Twitter and check out howto.cnet.com for more iOS 7 tips. For CNET, I'm Sharon Vackman.